Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Retro Shining Force. So, last time I said we were gonna, you know, get through this battle. I'm still working on it, but, you know, I figured this would be a good place to start. Everything seems to be going well. I mean, knock on wood, don't jinx it. Because, uh, I've only lost one person so far, and that was, uh, one of my archers, I think it was Diane. But, other than her, everybody seems to be okay. Jesus, lizard man. A little too much damage there, it's illegal. I've also promoted uh, both Luke and Gort, so now they're both gladiators. They also have this cool spinning move when they jump, when they attack. Whoa, 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 bam! Look at that. Look at that damage. Luke and, uh, and uh, Gort, unlike the other promoted classes, actually are worth something. Oh wow, you don't reach, okay. Uh, Tao also now has blaze level three. That's a thing. I mean, it doesn't look like it does anything different. Probably just more, even more damage. But, uh, yeah. Blaze level 3 is there. I have yet to use it. I'm only sticking with blaze level 1 because I don't need to go all out yet. Uh, at level 3, using 8 MP is kind of insane. So I'll wait till she levels up and catches up with the rest of the gang before we actually use that ability. I got Balbaroy at level 7. I know he's only gonna do like 1 or 2 damage, which is no big deal. Oh, there it is, 2 damage. But, I also have been looking into like, different things about the, the way the gameplay works. Apparently, in this game, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but the whole thing about the terrain, and 15% and 30% and all that stuff, the land effects, it's supposed to actually give you defensive bonuses against specific enemies, but apparently it's bugged out in this game and doesn't work the way it's supposed to. There we go. So there is a mod that you can download if you're playing this on uh, the Steam version. This, uh, I think it's called the Sega Mega Drive and Classics Collection. If you're playing on that, you can actually get a mod to fix that, but it also in turn makes the game a little bit harder because the enemies also get that same defense bonus. So it makes the game both easier and harder in a sense. But they also improve the game's AI about using potions, which to me irritates me because I'm like, I'd rather they have bad use of their healing effects and then I can kill them because they wasted it early instead of, oh hey, I'm about to die, let me full heal. Like, I'd rather that happen. But, I digress, that's not the point. That if you are playing along in the game, there there is a mod that you can pick up and use. There we go. Alright, Skeleton should almost be dead. Okay, down to three. And then I'm down to... The four Pegasus Knights, and I think one more Lizard Man, and another Dark Priest, and I think that's it. So the good news is, as soon as we're out of here, we can work our way into the next town and see what's going on there. There's the Pegasus Knights. Getting at their very comfortable 18 health. Yeah, it's just the Pegasus Knights and the Dark Priest and the Lizard Man. Alright, so let's send up Luke and Low. Chris can heal, I think, right? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so as I go through this next segment, which is most going to be a lot of walking and a lot of killing, I will be fast forwarding a bit, so I will catch you guys on the flip side as soon as we make it to the next town.
All right, we are down to the last four enemies we have to kill here. So that's good. Let's see how much I can get away with. Because if I don't have to fight them, that'd be awesome. Oh no, they're coming up for me. All right. I gotta have these guys in position and ready to fight. Yeah, they're going straight for Balboroy. They go right back into position, huh? Interesting. get the whole squad together first. Now we put Wolverine up here. Bart is here. Now they should start walking this way. As they do for Balboroy, I get free damage. Let's see, what am I gonna do here? Let's put a tomb here in the center. Oh, they're coming straight. Alright, let's go. Oh, no, Hans. Hans is probably dead. Yep, that happened. Jesus, 12 damage. Okay. They didn't take the Bulboroy bait like I thought they would. And I have no range attackers besides my mages. Hmm. That makes this a little bit more interesting. Not gonna lie, the gladiator animation of like the the spinning axe drop is hilarious. Wow, you missed. Huh. <sighs> Ball Roy, that sucks, but whatever. I don't have to be a worthy sacrifice. I just can't let them get to a tomb. If they get to a tomb, I'm gonna be very upset. Hey, go after Luke. Can you guys not miss though? I need you to actually hit the target. You guys keep missing. Henri, please do something useful. There you go. See? Look at that. Deadly damage. 13. The night is gone. Alright, Luke. Don't mess this up. Big hit. Seven. It's not as big as I wanted, but I'll take it. Alright, 
awesome. Low level six now. But yeah, what I found out is apparently in the game later on, there is or oh, there are, I should say, not there is. Uh, there are weapons that are actually only be able to be used if you promoted your character already. Now I found out the level cap in the game is level 20, but if you promote, you effectively, you know, you get better weapons and such. Now you can promote early, yes, kind of like what I just did, which is usually not the greatest idea. It makes the game a little bit harder, but it is salvageable. Now you generally don't want to do it between chapters two and three, which is where I'm at now, because they're like, yeah, no. Grinding that early is a nightmare, and that's understandable. You're not really getting much benefit out of it. Because what promoting does is when you promote, you actually lose one fourth of all your stats. Which is why, you know, people like Ken and May do like only one or two damage. Well, May just does one damage, which sucks. Ken before was doing at least, you know, four or five or six damage. And now it's down to one, maybe two if he's lucky. So that's exactly why. And you know, you know, promoting while it does increase your stats, it also it promotes it in the sense that you gain better stats at the same level as you were prior, but you still get your stats cut back for it. Holy Jesus! So it's still difficult to get through the game when you just promote. Like it's it's an it's a hard thing to level up after promoting. It's doable, as you can tell, but it's it's difficult. Okay, Henri, I need you to hit this spell. And you can't because what's your face in the way? Great. Great, so I have to use Tao's last little bit of magic on a 1 HP Pegasus Knight. Okay, whatever. Just do it, Tao. Kill him. Thank you. That takes care of that. Balbaroy. Advance. Hey, go join him. Henri, I'm gonna need you to use spells. And go this way. We also go that way. Port, you're back here though. I don't want you to advance that far yet. The thing is, I also found out a tomb should actually be leveled because he actually gets a really good sword later on. Okay. So you want to actually promote him somehow, apparently. Boom! Look at that. 12 damage. Biggest boy numbers. Be up here for now. Jokes on you, so do I. Alright, good. Nine damage. Should kill the priest. Alright, priest is down. Now it's just the lizard man. And 
the lizard man shouldn't have any more turns for now. There we go. Alright, lizard man is now dead. Dead man. Dunkage. Boom. Head for the bridge. We need to get across quickly. Oh, what the fudge? Another battle right away? Traitor! You have betrayed Lord Kane! I owe no allegiance to him, you foul fiend that he is. Wait, wait. I owe no allegiance to you or him, foul fiend that he is. You are only a mercenary. You do what we pay you to do. Here, I return your gold. You should no longer follow your orders, Toad. You are not with us and you are against us. I will have the pleasure of killing you myself. Vile fiend! Aye! <laughs> Thus fall all those who oppose the will of Dark Soul. Back to battle again. This is just another straight up battle. Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. The laser eye, what does this do? Form of sequence initiated. Ten. Nine. What does that do? I don't know, but you know what? We're not doing this right now. Uh-uh. We are egressing right up on out of here. That is not a battle I'm ready to handle. So, we'll come back and do that in the next episode, guys. If you liked today's episode of Let's Retro Shining Force, Leave a comment down below. Let me know if, what you think of the game so far. I'm going to save. I'm going to heal. And then we can move on with whatever that's going on in there. Hopefully I don't have to redo that last battle. That would suck. But I digress. Other than that, guys, leave a like down below. Comment. Share the video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Be a part of the Curly Crew. And that way, whenever a new episode drops, you are already aware. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Shining Force. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. You guys just got pranked. Hit up with that twice psych combo. God, I've read, I've, I, I've gotten too into home stuff. Someone save me. But I digress. We're not done yet. We're going to get through this. I have no idea what this is going to do, but we'll find out. Warm-up sequence initiated. 10 seconds. 9. Well, I have no idea what that means, but we're going to just have everyone move up here. I'm actually going to have Balboa go this way. If I can avoid whatever that thing is going to do, that would be awesome. Silver Knight, not even a Rune Knight, a Silver Knight. Well, I'ma just keep fast forwarding because there's a whole crap ton of people trying to move. There is not enough people in this game for that turn to that whole fiasco to work. So uh, yeah, we're gonna fast forward through all this.
Six. Five. Targeting activated. You know, I don't know what that thing does. So, uh, I don't want to move my people. I want to see what happens. Man, can you give my boy Bubble Ray a turn? Jesus. You go after Bulbora. Right here you go. One shot him. Feel it. Okay, never mind. Just keep fighting. Somebody break the laser eye. Cause that is some bull home shit. There we go. We're doing it, Bulbaroy. You're getting there. Finally doing some damage. laser eye you were supposed to fire. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just do that. Hopefully you hit this time, Hans. Thank you, Hans. Ooh, ah. Almost had me, Hans. You almost had it. You almost had my respect and admiration. Ah, now you're swinging after Hans. 
sucks is you are in the perfect position for Tao or Henri to just decimate you. And now you're not. That is really uncool. In fact, now Henri can't do squat. Because I'm scared of this laser eye doing something. Will the laser eye please just fire? Thank you. Fire. Okay. So two little men and a priest. Another little man. Is it just anything on the bridge? Like this section right here? by killing this knight. Thank you. Swing on this guy. Oh god, no damage. I might have made a mistake. Oh my god. Grave miscalculations. Huge errors were made. Hans is now level 10. Awesome.
should probably start moving my forces backwards so that nobody gets decimated by that laser. With the exception of, uh, Barboy, because he can fly. Four, three. Yep, here, here we go. Everyone better duck. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm certainly gonna try. Barboy go way up here. Wouldn't, but I was, I was also a. Uh... Yikes! Oh wait, no, it has to go through two, one fire, and then another fire. So I should have two more turns. Yes, yes, yes. Walk in front of the laser. That's a great idea, buddy. This ought to do it. I should keep my my forces at least close enough that they can jump right through immediately and just decimate everybody but not immediately in the path of the laser fire yeah two one fire get Diane out of the way. <clears throat> I don't know if this is how this works, but I'm hoping it does. Okay, get out of the way. Harbor just, just draw them. Draw them to you, buddy. No, don't advance, you jerk. Hey, let the archers come up, too. Let everybody come up. It's a party. It's gonna be a party in a second. Um, lasers? Lasers. I'm not moving. So these lasers go off. yourselves. I'm happy to do it soon. Let's go again. Swing on the lizard. I know you're going to do much damage, but swing on the lizard. Okay, never mind. I actually have to be better damage. Now, uh, Andre can finish him off. With a simple blaze level 2 spell. Oh, uh, boom. Explosion! If you don't miss, it'd be great. Hans, you had one job to do. One. One, my guy. Oh, no. no. Hans, you, you reminded me right now of one great monster in Monster Rancher Advance 2, and I'm not going to name names, but he sucks at his accuracy training, and he needs to actually hit something. Thank you. Good job, Luke. I'm gonna see if I can bait everyone else out to the front lines. Cause if I can bait other guys onto the bridge, then I should be okay.
And this is why we keep that. God, it can still hit Bulbaroy from way over there. Oh, no, 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 Oh, whoa, so it just fires anyway. It was already pre-warmed up. That's not fair. This is a man taking some damage, too. So the moment somebody walks into range, it's just going to fire. Okay. And if it's only one square away, like... Yeah, 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 do that, do that. Sorry, Bob but, uh, May is the greater good right now. May needs to stay alive. And they messed it up. They goofed. I think Ken can walk into range to save them. Warm up sequence, yeah, that's fine. Priest and the Silver Knight. I forgot about those two knuckleheads. Now, I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of this battle. I have been fast forwarding intermittently anyway, so. Not like you guys will be missing much. I'm gonna have to double check the people who promoted and see if the reason why they're doing less damage is because of the fact that when they promoted, it just reset their weapons.
I'm just curious. Let me see something. No. It still does about the same damage. I have to test my theory with the next person I promote. I don't know who it's going to be though. There we go, laser eye destroyed. Oh, this battle's taking way too long. I know you guys only get the short version, so aren't you lucky? Holy can! Sweet Jesus, Ken, what did you just do to the man? This is the kind of upgrade I have looking up to for May. Holy Jesus! Damage. You may have beaten us here, but General Elliot will put a stop to you in POW. Oh. This dude ran up. Ooh, I thought I was a comic. But I thought a branch and just hung on. I don't you know what? I'm gonna give him an Elvis voice. A <laughs> great battle. I don't know who you are, but I wanna tag along. Hell joins the shining force. A good job getting that laser eye. Hurry on to POW, evil is afoot. With the laser eye gone, the Shining Force heads on toward moving. Uh, with the laser eye gone, the Shining Force heads toward the moving town of POW. Knowing that Runefaust is gathering its forces, our heroes hurried onward. There we go. The secret weapon, the secret weapon of Runefaust. Chapter 3, End. That is the actual ending of today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Hope you all had a great time. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. You know the deal. Join the Curly Crew. Hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. For real this time. On Let's Retro Shining Force. Sorry about that. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.